Hey guys, Hamstribble here with a new video and unless you've been living under a rock, you probably saw that Blizzard officially announced Classic Cataclysm. Oh yeah, we're now at the stage where the classic timeline will take us into a quote-unquote modern expansion, where the world of Azeroth will be revamped, Raid Finder was introduced and leveling became even more easy than it was in Wrath of the Lich King. It was the very first expansion where after a six year rocket ship to the stars in terms of subscriber numbers, things actually started to go downhill for Blizzard and ever since Cataclysm, Blizzard has never been able to recover from the olden but golden days to the point where now they won't even show you how many people are playing. Spoiler alert! It ain't the 10 million we saw during the original Wrath of the Lich King era. Which begs the question, will Cataclassic be a success? Will people actually give this a try or will they look at this expansion and just go, nah, I'll just stick to farming ICC. Or that new Vanilla Plus thing Blizzard is releasing, which is basically the red-headed stepchild of Turtle Wow and Project Ascension. So come along for the ride as I, some random YouTuber, will give you my thoughts on whether Kata Classic will be a success or not. Now in order to answer this question we need to look at some of the things people didn't like about Cataclysm. To see what originally turned people away from Cataclysm and see if Blizzard has a chance of better succeeding in round 2. Well let's start off with the heroic dungeons in Cataclysm. Now remember heroic dungeons in the Burning Crusade? Yeah, a good chunk of them weren't exactly a walk in the park. I still have nightmares about doing heroic shadow labs or heroic shattered halls with people that didn't know how to CC properly. And how were heroic dungeons in Wrath of the Lich King? Well, they were an absolute breeze. Even on a fresh private server, people would blast through them at record speed in blues and greens like it was nothing. And this is where things went wrong for Cataclysm. Because Blizzard decided to make heroic dungeons heroic again. And because people were so used to being half awake in the dungeon in Wrath, a lot of them kind of hit a brick wall when they realized the significant jump in terms of difficulty. And well, Blizzard is in luck because this should be no problem at all in Kata Classic. Because what do we have in Wrath Classic? Oh yeah, that's right. Heroic dungeons with an already increased difficulty to make sure they're not a snooze fest, ergo the Gamma dungeons. Basically, the sudden jump in difficulty between Wrath Classic and Kata Classic will be a lot less compared to way back in 2010. And thus, the chance of people quitting by the masses because the heroic dungeons are just too hard will probably not be a thing. So, Blizzard is already one up on this. The second big problem in the expansion was the fact that 10-man raids were absurdly difficult in comparison to 25-man raids, with some damage values from 25 being directly carried over to 10-man. Yes, it was that bad. But Blizzard later revamped this. And well, what has Blizzard done with any other classic version so far? Oh yeah, they used a much later core of that game. For vanilla, they used 1.12. TBC they use 2.4, Wrath is 3.3 and I have no doubt Cataclysm will be based on the 4.3 stage of the game. Meaning the version of Cataclysm will have post nerf raids and again this problem in original Cataclysm probably won't be a problem in Cataclysm. However it's not all roses and sunshine because Cataclysm in terms of lore and iconic villains is nothing compared to the previous versions. Vanilla had Onyxia, Nefarian, and Kalthazat to name a few. TBC had Kalthaz and Idolin, both very well known characters from Warcraft 3, and Wrath of the Lich King has freaking Arthas. And what does Cataclysm have? Well, get ready, because we have rehashed Blackwing Lair, rehashed Zulgarub, rehashed Molten Core, except now Ragnaros has legs, and a final raid with one of the most anti climactic endings ever. That's what you get to look forward to. And listen, the raids and boss fights themselves are actually quite fun. I should know because I raided on a Cataclysm private server and I had a lot of fun in raids like Firelands and Dragon Soul. It's just that in terms of iconic villains, yeah, Cataclysm can't touch any of the previous expansions by a long shot. Two for Blizzard, one against Blizzard so far. Hey, they're still ahead. Now let's talk about some classes here. Are you a meme spec? Are you an elemental shaman or a boomkin? Do you cry when you open up Warcraft logs and see how your class is doing in ICC? 
Wait, don't answer that, because I know you do. Well, you're in luck, because classes like the Elemental Shaman and Boomy are actually quite strong in Cataclysm. In PvE, at least. I think it was even PreachWow who said that Cataclysm was one of the best times for a Boomy, with them being a lot less RNG based. Yeah, listen, I love my Lunar Eclipse proc in Wrath. That 40% crit from Starfire? Mm-mm, juicy stuff. But getting it off is sometimes the worst thing ever. In Cataclysmic, however, they're much more stable DPS with how they reworked Eclipse. And Elemental Shamans? Yeah, they stack much, much better with the more gear they have. So basically, there are some specs that will probably move up a lot in the new expansion. That is, if Blizzard doesn't start to try and balance things over and over again, and ending up buffing one class, but then completely forgetting about another. I mean, just look at Feral Druids compared to Balanced Druids right now. How do you explain this giant ass difference to two specs of the same class? You don't. So yeah, some specs have a bright future ahead of them in Cataclysmic. Now listen, I could go on and on with this video, but I think you're starting to get the point. Some mistakes of old will probably not be in Cataclysmic, so Blizzard, right from the get-go, has a better opportunity of succeeding. And make no mistake, people are starting to get a little nostalgic for that Cataclysm expansion. And I know that sounds weird, but I just want to remind you that Cataclysm was released in 2010. And Cataclysmic will be released probably somewhere in 2024. That means that when it goes live, it will be 14 years ago since the original release. You know it was also 14 years old when the remaster was released? Oh yeah, WoW Vanilla. That came out in 2005 with the classic version in 2019. Unless you lived in America, then it was 2004, but anyway, let's not get stuck on semantics here. So, will Cataclysm be a success? I think initially people will be curious about it and will give it a try, but honestly, while there will be a decent amount of people playing, I think this might be the first time where we see a significant chunk of people just sticking to Wrath of the Lich King. Because from vanilla to TBC to Wrath, Cataclysm is the first expansion where things really underwent massive changes. Changes so massive that to some, it's not the WoW they fell in love with. Change is so massive that from Cataclysm, there really is no point of return anymore. So while it might have enough success to kind of justify its release, I think this will be the first time we'll see a great divide in the community. Kind of like we see right now with people either playing hardcore on vanilla servers or playing Wrath Classic. And that's all I got for you now. The video's done. Thanks for watching. I'm Hamstruel, and as always, have a good one.